What's going on guys, it's nice to bring you guys a new video. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that I probably could have talked about multiple times, but here we are, I'm making the video now. So, I wanted to talk about how people come around, they always say, Hey man, you're wearing carry sets, I hate these carry sets, I hate these carry builds, yada yada yada. Alright, cool. So, let's get into it, let's talk about carry sets, let's talk about the current meta. We're always making these videos, we're always talking about our overview of each patch, yada yada yada. Well, this is going to be essentially my short but straightforward overview of the current meta, why people wear the builds they wear, why I use the builds I use, and just kind of how PvP is at the moment. So this clip is taken from my stream. It's sped up quite a lot just because it's not meant to show anything crazy. I don't do anything cool in here, but it's just to show the simple fact of people are always asking me, they're like, Ness, why do you use all these broken sets why do you use all this bs my response to literally any of them is i'm not going to handicap myself this is a very light fight i'll say that i've gotten in much more hectic fights much crazier fights than this fights where i was pressured a lot more fights where i got chased even thirstier than these people chased me but this is just a good example of what an average fight i get into can look like Okay, so that's going to be playing in the background, and I'll hop back to it every once in a while and make a comment, but just keep that in mind. Like, so far, all my homies have gotten zerked, and now I'm running around for dear life, and you're not going to see these people stop. So for all those people saying, hey, man, why do you wear carry builds? It's probably because I get chased across Cyrodiil by a lot of goddamn people all goddamn day long, and there's no rule anywhere that says, hey, man, you can't wear these certain builds. So all those carries people talk about all the time, I'm getting zerged by them. So no offense, I'm not here for briny points. I'm not here to like go kill people in hundings. Like I'm not going to do that. In all honesty, that's stupid. Like, yeah, getting carried is a certain extent, but also playing like bad builds is something else. So if you're playing like a bad build and gimping yourself and not using something strong on purpose realize that like realize you are screwing over yourself by all means everybody else can do that but i'm not gonna do that i have this group that just chased me from sejanus to the bridge and i'm getting ult dumped by two large groups meanwhile a werewolf has been on me this entire time and i'm getting body blocked by his wolves and ult dumped the second i get on the bridge why in the hell would i wear some garbage sets and allow these people to kill me or wear something that I know isn't good. Like, there's a thing of people call a lot of good sets carry sets, and there is a difference, and people don't ever realize it. In this, I mean, hell, I'm not wearing the number one complaint about set Crimson, which I'm going to be making an entirely different video about it, but there you go. Nobody can kill him, complain about Crimson. I'm literally just running for dear life on a Stam Sark with Plague Slinger on. That's, that's what I got on. I'm running for dear life with Plague Slinger on. Congrats, boys. So, I mean, there's that. I want to talk about the whole carry sets because the way the meta is at the moment, continuing on with that, and proc sets, right? Everybody's complaining about proc sets. The big thing is, honestly, it's to the point where you can't blame people for running proc sets. You can't blame them for wearing certain proc sets because, of course, there are a lot of proc sets that are purely meant to zerd people down. Like, if people are running around with stuff like Calurians, Icy Conjurer, yada 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 very single target proc sets like high damage single target proc sets they're pretty much just built to one either duel you or zerg you down stuff like that can be absolutely 100 percent complained about seeing people run around with crimson on 1vx builds you can't really complain about anybody doing that because crimson in 1v1 does nothing and crimson if you're outnumbering is a very good set you can't blame those people for wanting to go out there play outnumbered and use crimson to be able to keep themselves alive when damage is this high and proc sets are this ridiculous right now. Everybody's using proc sets. You're getting zerged down by proc sets. So why are you not going to use proc sets? Yeah, like, I understand it's not enjoyable. By no means am I saying at any point, I already know somebody's going to leave a comment and somebody's going to hate and whatever. By no means am I saying, I like this meta. There, there's never been a point, I haven't said on stream, I haven't said on a video, where I've been like, I like this meta. I don't like this meta. I would rather we do actual normal damage. Here's the thing, I've tried normal damage builds on classes, and they suck compared to proc builds. Plain and simple. 
I got 9,000 weapon damage on the Stamden. It sucked compared to the typical 40k health Stamden build. By the way, anybody complaining about a 40k health Stamden and wondering why they all have 40k health and complaining about them with Arctic Blast, the reason why they have 40k health is because they can't heal themselves. That's the only way for a Stamden to heal. It is what it is. With 9k weapon damage, my Vigors were ticking for 5k and I was getting melted. So... Once again, that's why we have the meta that we have. People are being forced into play styles they don't want to play. People are being forced into proc sets. People are being forced into playing this way. Th this way we don't like to play. I don't like playing this way. It seems like a lot of other people don't like playing this way. As for solutions, I think an easy instant solution is purely to make the Malakath Band not affect proc sets. I don't think you need to nerf the Malakath Band. I think the Malakath Band would be fine for normal builds, builds just using general skills. It's a fine mythic. The problem is once it starts buffing your five proc sets you're wearing, then it's kind of OP and it sucks because there's a reason why proc sets don't get buffed by a lot of stuff. The reason it doesn't get buffed by a lot of stuff is because could you imagine if all these sets got buffed by your weapon damage? or your stats, or anything like that. Could you imagine somebody with 6-7k weapon damage hitting you with, I don't know, a Veladreth, a Selene's, like any stamp thing? Can you imagine a mag character with thousands of spell damage hitting you with Overwhelming? That would do a lot more than tickle you. Same thing. Do we want to even consider Zahn, or Icy Conjure, or anything actually ridiculous with super high tooltips? Hell, let's talk about Pestilent Host with a 40k base tooltip on a mag character. Can we imagine if that actually scaled? So there we go. There's a reason why these sets don't get scaled and why they get buffed by very few things, why they have set numbers. Well, Malakath doesn't care about that. They're, it's going to buff the damage on a lot of them. So the instant solution to dropping procs is to, boom, there you go, remove Malakath buffing proc sets. Although we're still in an issue of we nerfed tankiness, which was a good thing. The thing was, we nerfed tankiness when procs were already OP. Now procs are even better. So you kind of have to do this bit by bit to see where the meta ends up being and how PvP ends up being. Because right now, with the amount of proc sets and the amount of stuff people are being chased with and stuff people are being hit by, that's the reason why people are building to be tankier and tankier and tankier. Because you lost tankiness, well, you need to make that back up because you're going to be taking a lot more damage. Likewise, all these proc sets are doing more damage and getting buffed and getting buffed by Malakath and new builds are coming out with crazy new concoctions of them and it just ends up getting worse and worse and worse. So if we actually tone down proc sets, it's going to depend on where we're going to end up. Likewise, in terms of actual balance, we can't just sit here and gut proc sets. I do think proc sets deserve a place, a place in PvP, but I just don't want them to be the only thing in PvP. I think people can understand that. That's coming from on an unbiased position. I like some builds with procs. I like other builds with straight damage. I would rather people find a middle ground and not be forced into either. You can either build damage if you want to, or you can build procs if you want to. I am not personally a fan of procs doing all your damage for you, though. That's why I'm saying they need to be nerfed, because at the moment, procs are doing all the damage you need to do. You don't need to use any of your actual skills. You don't need to think about what you're doing, any of that. If procs did a little bit of damage and then you still had to think about what you're doing, you still had to actually use skills to kill people, your proc sets didn't kill people for you, they did a little bit, but not a lot, I'd be fine with that. But we need to work towards toning them down, looking at specific sets, and you know that's another thing. In terms of actual balance, we can't do blanket changes here anymore, people. We can't. We can't sit here and say, nerf this, nerf that, nerf everything. Remember what happened in Scalebreaker when we told them to nerf dots and they nerfed every single damn dot in the game? Or when we complained about sustain in one Tamriel and they nerfed everything in the game that gave sustain across the board, period? Probably not good to say, hey, nerf proc sets across the board. Like, because a lot of proc sets honestly suck. And I mean, it's just creating more diversity. Like I said, I don't want procs to be the only way, but I don't want damage to be the only way either. I'd rather have some diversity where you can pick and choose. But likewise, again, procs shouldn't carry you. Carry you. I just want to reiterate that for like the 50th time because I know somebody's going to say something about it. Procs should not carry you, but they should be a little something, like decent sets, just not OP. So 
hopefully uh, I got my point across in this video. I feel like I repeated myself 80 times, but it's just making sure I reiterate myself because anytime I make a commentary video, there's always a bunch of people that they make it like two sentences in and they just write a paragraph. So hopefully this was good enough. Hopefully I covered most of my bases as fast as I could. I'll be making plenty of more videos talking about, you know, the state of PvP, my thoughts on it, my thoughts on specific topics in it, like Crimson, I want to make a different video on Crimson, and, you know, just the game overall. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, I'm Ness as always, thank you to my supporters, I love you guys, links are down below, Patreon, join button, Twitch, everything like that, and I'm out.